Bill. I do exactly what I want. Oh, Blinky. Bill. No other character in Australia's literary history is quite like him. He's the quintessential lovable larrikin and the most famous koala to ever nibble a gum leaf. Blinky Bill. It's a wonder then that it's taken so long for Blinky to make his big screen appearance. But at long last, Blinky Bill the koala is about to become Blinky Bill, international movie star. Now Yoram Gross brings Australia's greatest hero to the screen with Blinky Bill. The Blinky Bill that we are doing now, really, it's uh, our Blinky Bill. It is my interpretation of Dorothy Wall. Yoram Gross brings not only his own interpretation of Blinky Bill, but also transports him into the 90s. And Blinky Bill's 50 years old, and uh, a lot has changed in 50 years. The humour is different, and the kids are different, the costumes are different, mums are a little bit different, though not much. Uh, uh, things that are funny 50 years ago are still funny now, but sometimes they're not. In my opinion, the Blinky Bill, Blinky Bill is the, the, probably the best picture I have done till now. In the original, Blinky is a pretty tough character. He does some dreadful things which are funny to read, but not funny to see. He kicks um, uh, uh, people and he pinches them and he causes disaster. It is probably number 15. 15 full length features I have done. Yes, all for children. One of the hallmarks of Yoram Gross's films is the unique combination of animation over real life backgrounds. Locations were painstakingly researched, especially for the construction of the Bush Animals Village. Scale homes were made as the background for the animated action. Director of photography, Frank Hammond, has been working with Yoram Gross since Dot and the Kangaroo in 1969. The Blinky Bill film is a lot different than Dot and the Kangaroo because we have live sets. It's quite exciting because uh, when the bulldozers come in to smash the set down, while we're filming that, we're imagining all the little critters running and scampering and you have to imagine it in your mind while you're shooting it. And there's actually nothing in your frame. So when you're doing a pan or a camera movement, you have to imagine all the little creatures. We did one shot yesterday where we had Blinky Bill climbing the stairs into his treehouse. Of course, Blinky Bill's not there yet. He gets put in later. It was it's quite nice. You find yourself giggling to yourself while you're shooting this imaginary character. You're shooting nothing. There's nothing there. It's good fun. I like it. Art director, Ray Nowland. I was approached with a project by Yoram to design for him through the traditional method of either cartoon backgrounds or he was just going to use trees to do it. And I was sitting out here. I just moved to the country and I'm looking at my neighbours. And my neighbours have got uh, round tree homes, uh, they fit into the environment, they're rock and they're very natural out here. They build their own homes, most of them build their own homes. And I was sitting here thinking there'd be no trouble. I've got drawings in front of me. I'm looking at my drawings and I'm looking at their houses and I'm thinking these people can build this. Ray has done a magnificent job as you, can, as you have seen. And uh, we are happy. I hope the animated cartoon that we are doing, our koalas will be happy as well. But uh, it is brilliant as you see because it's blended so nicely with the bush. You don't see that it's artificially done. It looks like really done by animals. If the animals will be doing this kind of houses, I'm sure they will be doing exactly as Ray has done. Head of construction, Kevin Carroll. Well, originally Ray came and saw me and asked me if we could, uh, if we could supply the labour from the local people, and uh, I said I thought we could, and uh, after a couple of plans that Ray drew up, we um, got down here and um, started to put things in together, you know, and using all of the uh, the uh, uh, st uh, natural stuff that we could find in the bush around here, and uh, uh, that's, that's how it came together. And we dragged a few logs in with the with the tractors and uh, dug the creek out manually, as you can see, and uh, it all came together pretty well. Today probably is the the sad day of shooting because we are destroying the homes of koalas. They have been so beautifully made that they pity to destroy. But we have to, this is the script. The destruction of the bush animals village by illegal loggers early in the film is a powerful and dramatic moment that highlights the technique of combining animation and live action.